In this audiobook, I'll help you take a good look at your relationship with worry and change it to your advantage. Probably the most important aspect of the relationship people have with worry is how worry consistently tricks them. If you frequently experience more worry and more trouble with worry than you find reasonable and ordinary, it's probably because the worry trick has shaped the relationship you have with worry in ways that make your worry more persistent and upsetting. In this audiobook, I will help you identify the worry trick, find evidence of it in your own life, and change your relationship with worry so that its power to disrupt your life shrinks to more ordinary levels. You might experience worry as a problem all on its own, or you might experience worry as part of a broader problem called an anxiety disorder, such as generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, social phobia, a specific phobia, or obsessive-compulsive disorder. The methods I'll show you in this audiobook can be used as a self-help method on their own or be part of a process involving the help of a professional therapist, whichever your circumstances may require. Joe has tried hard to rid himself of his worry with little success. It galls him when otherwise well-intentioned friends and family members suggest he simply stop worrying as if this were a simple problem with an obvious solution. He's tried many things. Thought stopping, keeping really busy, prayer, meditation, improving his diet, exercise, nutritional supplements, seeking reassurance from his wife, seeking reassurance on the internet, and numerous other possible solutions with little to show for his efforts. Still, Joe and the millions of people like him can reduce the disruptive effects worry has on their lives. If you find that you have more worry in your life than seems reasonable, and you have been frustrated in your efforts to reduce it, there are better ways to handle worry, and I will help you discover them and put them to work.